So I decided to clean my bedroom. It was a freaking mess. Came home from work and, well, went to the dentist because I only have these top ones and that's a retainer. I have three cavities, nine teeth left, three cavities. It's never ending. Sorry about the lighting. My light over there and then my bedroom and I had the light off, I had the TV on, but it's on pause right now. Anyhow, I came home from work, went to the dentist for cleaning. I go back Friday to get the three cavities filled. My daughter had to have a cavity filled, so I took her at 5 o'clock. My appointment was at 3.45. Dropped her off at her dad's house when she was done. And then I came home, and I'm tired of looking at my bedroom. So I cleaned my bedroom pretty good. I still need to dust, but I'm good with it. And then I cleaned my bathroom. That's uh, You can kind of see the lights off. That's the bathroom straight ahead. But I cleaned that, and... I haven't done the shower or the tub yet. Shower, I've sprayed it down. I plan on taking a shower here in a few minutes and I'm gonna scrub it when I'm in there. But vacuumed and I feel so much better about my bedroom because we leave for vacation in two weeks. We go on our cruise and I do not want to leave with a dirty house. So each room is gonna be pretty much spring cleaned on so it can look good. But my son, He's kind of nervous, but I'm going to let him stay here. I told him he can have a friend or two. I don't mind. He's 17. I totally trust him. We have cameras in our house, too, and he knows this. Um, so, I'll be able to see whatever. So, I want him here with my puppy dogs. See, there's one of them. Being that he won't leave my side. His toy's down there right beside me, and he wants me to throw it to him. So, that's Chewy, and that's Yoda right there. And... They won't leave me alone. Anyhow, I decided to, um, I've been running. So I didn't feel like running tonight. So I decided I would ride the bike. So we had bought this and we stuck it in our bedroom. This is the sitting area. That's a box I still need to put away. And that's our luggage get for our trip. But this is our sitting area. So I had my husband put this in our sitting area. So I could watch TV straight ahead and enjoy I guess TV while I ride the bike. Anyhow, I decided to ride instead of um, run. My lower back's now been hurt me. I've been going to the chiropractor three times a week. This week I'm actually going twice, so I'm kind of happy I'm only going twice because three times is a lot. Anyhow, um, I'm riding this bike. I still have nine minutes to go on it. And I went 3.6 miles, 3.7 now just went not burning as many calories, but I just want to get rid of my um, love handles. I have never weighed this much except being pregnant. I weigh 145 and I'm 5'5". Five five. So I have some rolls. You can't tell. You know, it's black. Um, so um, I'm hoping running and everything will work, but... Like I said, my lower back's been hurting, so I thought, well, maybe I'll just sit here and ride the bike, but it's not feeling too good on the bike. The chiropractor is trying to figure out why my back's starting to hurt now, and it was my neck and shoulders, which they bugged me a little bit. My neck's still kind of stiff, but my arms aren't hurting like they were, which we think they were pinching some nerves. So I'm thankful for that, but this back's got to stop. I mean, it's not keeping me from doing things, because I want to stay mobile. I want to stay active like some 39 I turned 40 this year so I'm still young and I want to live um oh what else I don't know it's only Wednesday and we leave for our cruise in two weeks from today and I am ready so ready um we're driving down I don't know if I already mentioned this but we're driving down with my neighbors so I think that'll be an enjoyable time um, three couples, and I got a basketball banquet for my son on Friday. My daughter played last weekend, sat in the bleachers, and that's what the chiropractor said, too. He said, my back could be hurt from sitting in those bleachers on Saturday and Sunday, which I sat for probably four hours both days, if not five. But I do take a seat. I have a cushy seat that I sit in because 
I know how bad those bleachers can feel and I wasn't having it. So we bought those two years ago, I believe, my husband and I, some chairs to sit on. I've hit four miles and I still got seven minutes to go. So I haven't rode this bike but one other time and I begged my husband for this bike. He's the one that's been using it. I figured a bike would be better for me than running, but I might alternate. Like today, ride the bike tomorrow, I might go run. And then ride the bike, and then run. Do a little bit of cardio. Anyways, so I said I've gained some weight, and I think it's because of my IUD that I had in me. Because of the blood thinner I was on, I made it a crime scene. So I had my doctor put an IUD in me. Well, I'm no longer the blood thinner, so I think I'm going to ask for the IUD to come out. And if I cannot get some of this weight off. Um, I like having the IUD because I no longer have my monthly cycles. Which is nice. I was, it'll be two years in November I've had it. And you can keep them in for five years. And I kind of want to keep it in there. Hoping then maybe I'll be going through the change. But who knows. I have three older sisters. One's eight years older, six years older, and four years older, and they have all actually, they no longer have their periods. So, I'm the only one left. So, we'll see if that ever happens. Okay, well, I thought I would just check in, I guess, and since I was sitting here playing on my phone and watch TV, which I have so much crap on my DVR to watch, um... So I guess I will check with you later and I don't know. Have a good night. Thank you.